Hello and welcome to SAP Plant Maintenance or s hana Asset Management Technology. In today's lesson, we'll be having a look at SAP Plant Maintenance Overview, SAP Plant Maintenance Integration, SAP Plant Maintenance Organizational Structure, SAP Plant Maintenance Master Data Elements, as well as some maintenance processes and benefits and finally, we have a look at SAP Plant Maintenance Reporting and Analysis. The SAP Plant Maintenance models, model in SAP handles all the maintenance activities that are carried out within an organization. It also integrates with third-party software. The SAP Plant Maintenance also integrates with other SAP models such as materials management, for instance, materials withdrawn for maintenance activities, and also project systems where maintenance activities can be easily allocated to particular projects. And then production planning, where you'll be able to properly plan your shutdowns for maintenance without affecting production that much. Then quality management and then financial accounting and controlling where you'll be able to pull your reports. The SAP PM organizational structure contains the client, the company code, the plants, maintenance plants, and planning plants. The client is the highest level in the SAP ERP system hierarchy. Each client is an independent unit with separate master records and a complete set of tables and data. The company code is an organizational unit used in accounting. It is used to structure the business organization from a financial accounting perspective. A plant is defined as an organizational logistics unit that structures the enterprise from the perspective of production, procurement, plant, maintenance, and materials planning. Maintenance plants are plants where maintenance activities are carried out. And finally, the planning plant is a plant where maintenance tasks and activities are planned and prepared. We have some master data elements in SAP plant maintenance. So functional location, equipment, and bills of material. The master data in SAP refers to a data relating to an individual object which remains unchanged over an extended period of time. The functional location is an organizational unit within logistics that structures the maintenance objects of the company according to functional process related or special criteria. A functional location represents the place at which a maintenance task is to be performed. The equipment is an individual physical object that is to be maintained independently. It can also be installed in a technical system or part of a technical system. You can manage all devices as pieces of equipment. For instance, production resources tools. The bills of materials refers to a complete formally structured list of components that make up a product or assembly. The list contains the object's number of each component together with the quantity and unit of measure. The components are known as bomb items. We have three categories of bomb in SAP. These are material bomb, equipment bomb, and functional location bomb. Now let's have a look at some maintenance processes. We start with corrective maintenance. The corrective maintenance process starts with notification where an equipment, where a faulty equipment is reported through the notification. The notification is then used in planning the maintenance activity and the work that needs to be done. The work is then 
scheduled. After scheduling the work, we will we'll draw the materials and other resources needed to execute the maintenance activity and then we execute the maintenance activity. And after everything is done, we perform time confirmation and technical completion to complete the maintenance process. The next I want to talk about is the emergency breakdown process. The emergency breakdown, when an equipment breaks down, the notification and scheduling is combined into one step, where as soon as we, we receive information about the equipment, we quickly redraw materials to fix the equipment or to resolve the problem. After resolving the problem, we create maintenance reports to report the causes and the activities that were performed to correct the situation. And after that, we complete the maintenance order. And the third is, the third I want to talk about is preventive maintenance process. With a preventive maintenance process, you create your task list where you list all the activities that you'll be performing during the maintenance. The next level, we plan the maintenance. So in planning the maintenance, that's where you use the maintenance plan. So you create your maintenance plan with your task list, and then you schedule the maintenance plan. When time is due, the system automatically generates your maintenance order for you to carry out the maintenance. And after carrying out the maintenance, we perform technical completion. Here are some reports and analysis that can be performed using the ACP plant maintenance model. You can have your notification report, work order report, cost analysis, plant maintenance analysis reports, and breakdown analysis reports. Some benefits of SAP plant maintenance. This include transparency of incurred cost, documentation of task performed, comprehensive planning and monitoring, and you also get a technical history of all your equipment. Thank you.